Allen will go right to Mark Dixon, live in the drop of 3,000. I'm kind of going to take you there right now, live drop of 3,000, and show you what we're currently looking at right now. And as we take a closer look <laughs> in the northern part of this county, uh, where you see the uh, brighter we're colors of red and orange oh. and purple, that's where it's anticipating even some hits. Yeah. We're being filmed. Yeah, I got to talk into my wire. Well, now a small hail and also some heavy rain. So let's go launch. Okay, let's. Oh, let's you actually, oh, you do have a wire. <laughs> Let's um, let's take that and make a practice takeoff. Well, take your cane and. No, practice. Pra oh, in this. Michael? No, maybe we won't be able to reach it when he gets up. To the camera. Just tell them what the tag says. We'll do that outside. Oh, okay. 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 For the camera. Have you ever seen Mike's camera before? No, I hadn't. Oh, from here out west. This only looks conductive. I don't think it would. It really is. Keep going. I'll go to the launch pad. What? I'm well, going to the launch pad. Why can't pen. we do it? <laughs> <Yes. Is> it? <laughs> Emily, Hello. our upstairs neighbor. You want to? We're launching a balloon well, to see It's one. only ten dollars admission to the launch. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's birthday was last week, and he got a birthday balloon, and we're launching it. To okay. This is a uh, polyester uh, polyester <laughs> balloon, which has been metalized, and it looks conductive, but I doubt that it is. Although we don't really want to get it up near the power lines, and it's filled with helium which is the next to the lightest, uh, next to the best gas used for lifting balloons and things like that. If the Hindenburg were filled with this gas, it wouldn't have burned. That's the advantage it has over helium. Now we're gonna, we're gonna release this probe. This is Martian probe. <laughs> A Martian probe? Yes, oh. it's supposed to go to Mars. Wow. And it's going to go up and up and up and up. And, and uh, when the Martians get this, what do you what do you hope they do? Telephone us. Really? Mm. Yes. Oh, are you the interviewer? Sure. Okay. <laughs> what does the tag say? Oh, did you read the tag to the camera? Well, the it says launched August twenty second, two thousand and three. Call eight six zero five two three three eight five zero. And it's got his name, Emmett R. Salzberg, and his address. So the Martians should have no trouble contacting him either by phone or by mail. Okay. With everybody being ready, is the photographic Thermal. department ready? Yep. Oh, he <clears throat> wants to do the cool angle of going straight up. All right, go ahead. Okay. On the count of three. Well, you no. got to the time and place and date. Okay. The, the time is. The time is. 14 minutes to 8, 14 minutes to, to 8. Uh, the date is uh, August 22nd, 2003 AD. So it's not to be missed. have a splattering angle. No. <laughs> no okay. No, uh, ready? 10, 9, 8. Shh, you're waking up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> 7, 6, 5. Four, three, all systems go, two, one, lift off. Woo! It's a gas, <laughs> it's a gasser. <laughs> where, where is it? It's behind you, it's over the house. Is it going, Look, the, up. Is it going in the direction it's supposed to be going? That, I think Mars is up that way. <laughs> <laughs> or wherever. Mars is Mars. in the southeast. Look at that. Mars is in the southeast quadrant. Bye bye. No. That could be. <laughs> yeah, we're letting the balloon go. I didn't get that. Can we do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, the mosquitoes are out. <laughs> we put our name and address on it, and we want to see if anybody finds it and should contacts watch, us. Should I watch Channel 2 at 5 a.m.? 
well, once once the balloon gets, you know, it loses the helium, it'll it'll land somewhere, maybe in another country. What's going to happen is that it's going to get up to a certain altitude and it's going to expand because the outside oh, pressure so it is. It might blow up. It'll blow up and then the card will come down, fluttering. Okay, there's mosquitoes. Okay. This, I wanna... West Nile. Uh, possibly. I don't want to find out. Sunny Boy's still shooting. Sunny Boy is very thorough. Yes, he is. This won't really make it on the news, will it? Only if it lands and somebody from Tokyo calls us or something like that. <laughs> Tell Pop about those ducks. In uh, 1989. Where is it? It's actually traveling pretty fast. It's the fastest it's been. If you back up. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> Shoot. If you go, if you come over this way, just watch out for the uneven sidewalk. It's just, it's a dot. I don't know if you, can you see it from where you are? No. Stand, come farther. It's kind of going over the chimney. See that little speck? A little speck It's moving right. pretty fast. Now it's, well, anyways. Well, let's anyway. Let's go back in. Dinner in a half an hour. Salad before then. Okay. Is that? We trust you like that maybe five years from now we'll hear from somebody. See, it's already, it's already far away. It's gone. It's probably over. Come here, Lori. Oh. What'd you say? We've had a very successful launch, I'm pleased to say. Everything went as scheduled. Um, this was an unmanned flight, correct? Uh, yes, uh, I, I think it was an unmanned flight. No chimps, no dogs, no people. That's no, correct. No Leica, the space dog. Leica, the space dog? Wasn't that the dog's name? There's no dog in the balloon. No, Didn't the I don't like dogs. Yeah, well, they don't like you either. <laughs> it's mutual. Mutual. Um, and it's just another launch, another successful launch in the great number of successful launches we had, starting with me back in Alamogordo, New Mexico, for New York University Research and Engineering Division, where we set up some 70-foot diameter balloons. Uh, uh, who, which rose to 100,000 feet and stayed at a constant level. So, and the helium-filled polyethylene balloons. And we also sent up some balloons from Cleveland, Ohio, and they were sent up at late afternoon. And by the time they got up to altitude, people were phoning in from all over Cleveland saying there's a, there's a, a flying saucer in the sky because it looked like a flying saucer. It was just a little tiny disk lit by the sun and not lit by anything on the ground, so it really stood out and it caused, didn't cause consternation, but we were hoping it would. Um, I didn't realize you had such extensive ballooning experience. Oh well, yes, they wanted me to go up in one, but I didn't, I decided not to. <laughs> Did your other balloons say happy birthday on them? No, this was that the was the one. trouble, you know. Oh, maybe they would have gotten maybe a bigger they stir if, if I had they thought it was a friendly them. craft. Yes, and I couldn't prove it to them. Oh. So I hope that concludes our presentation. Come back next year for another balloon. Do you think that, uh, when, when do you anticipate it will fall to Earth and somebody will contact you? In approximately uh, August of uh, 2006. Really? Not yes. sooner than that? Well, with a little luck, I suppose it could. So two full years? Yeah. It's liable to land, me, it's liable to land on practically any planet. Planet? But okay. not a star because it would get burned up in a star. Yeah, Mars is very cold, so we shouldn't I'm afraid. Have <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention, it's, it's as if he's not here. <laughs> it's really hard. To, do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> Does it focus down that automatically? Yeah. It's a macro lens. <laughs> Well, I always wanted to have a slightly larger nose. You did. And this is my chance. Oh, mosquitoes on your forehead. All right, we're going.